Uh, uh, did I miss him copying these, or does he just have three natural rags? Come on, dude. Wand, please have some justice in the world. This guy has the greediest dual stack I've ever seen. Ever. Wand. Wand. <gasps> hey, buddy, watch this. So I wanted to try the new big spell cards in Mage because we got um, the pretty sweet. Well, we have a couple big spells, actually. We might take frost shards to get elemental big spells, but we could also do the Yogtastic Tasties. Yes, big spells in the new parrot. Exactly, yes. So there's this. There, well, there's two things, right? We could go, since I took the elemental summoning hero power, I could go for the big elemental spell, the eight drop that summons you a bunch of elementals. And I could take this to sort of support that, go for an elemental deck. Or I could take Yogtastic Tasties uh, to get this as well. But it is going to get cheaper over the course of the run. So I guess in some ways it would get worse later on. But it could be 10 armor early on if I play the card that draws a big spell and uh, gains you armor. I guess I'll do the Yogtastic Tasties and we'll save the elementals for another day. I mean, we could still put in the elemental stuff too as a backup for the record, I guess. I guess we could run both as so that as as Yogtastic gets cheaper, we still have Grand Finale and we still have um, elemental stuff going on. Let's see how it feels when we build this list out, because that may not make a lot of sense. So I know for a fact we want the new card, Deep Water Evoker, draw a spell, gain armor to its cost. That is only I, that, that's not trying the highest cost spells, unfortunately. So I, I was thinking it was going to be the high cost always, but I guess we can control that, though, right? only give ourselves high cost spells, which is a little scary and risky. But we can try. Okay, so I need actually to think about what all the big things are here. There's like multiple big spell synergy things, right? Uh, what else is there? There's something else, right? Why am I thinking there's something at five mana? I don't know, maybe I just want big spells. Arcane Overflow is a pretty good, big, decent spell, I think. Uh, Mask of Cthulhu's another one, but you know. Maybe, maybe too singular in focus. I think I want like removals and stuff. If I'm gonna run Celestial Ink Set, the, the problem is it's not good until I play that first big spell, you know? And then it starts to get good, but it's uh, it's kind of iffy, right? I don't know about that. Discovers and Wandmaker. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's really, really good idea to make sure we have some flexibility early. So uh, we can run few things, right? We can run Pandaren, Venomous, uh, Discover, anything else that's really good for us spell-wise. Steward of Scrolls seems a little expensive. By the time we get there, we're probably going to want to be playing the st uh, Wand Thief, probably. We have the, the small uh, elementals, so we'll be able to get Wand Thief combos off pretty reliably, I think. Like, this reduces them to only one. Maybe Leyline's a little bit better for that, because he costs one more mana, but he could net, like, four or five more discounts. And that sets you up into the grand finale turn, right? That's pretty cool. I don't want to run uh, cheap spells. Uh, cheap spells mess up our plays. Like, we got the big spell synergy stuff with Evoker. Like, you know, it may we may regret this, right? We may want more cheap spells, but but this is at least what we're playing towards, for better or for worse. I think I like Glacial Shard. Being able to freeze face on command as opposed to just off my hero power could go a long way. Being able to lock down a Demon Hunter or something on occasion might just make this worth it. Okay. This is wacky, but let's see. Big spell, elemental mage. All right, let's uh, let's keep an evoker, wand thief. Yeah, we can keep a wand thief too. I want armor, right? We need life to be sure to get long enough into this game to to keep up. So, evoker's pretty nuts. It's at least five armor. It's a good two drop. I don't know if if this is that great of a card, honestly, but it just you know it made sense. The joust type thingy going on here. Yeah, quest, uh, quest kind of slow, I guess. Naturally. Turn four, this is a good turn three, maybe ping. Blizzard might be pretty good against, uh, Warlock, actually. Will they have enough to actually get the quest done? It seems like it might be pretty challenging, honestly. Like, gross board, man. Chill. Okay. This early in the run, right? They may be in over their head a little bit, I would think. Alrighty. 
Next fire spell. Is grand finale a fire spell, guys? Why is it just been not showing my deck? Keeps defaulting to it is a fire spell. I think we take this then. Maybe we should have even ran this. It just really keeps like forcing no deck mode. I don't know why. I don't understand why. I, I, something's going on. I'm going to close it. Sorry, give me a sec. I'm going to try this. So Arcane comes out on Netflix in two hours. Oh, okay. So that's going to be six mana with Hot Streak. So I actually need to play a lot of Elementals next turn. So I should play these three Elementals next turn. If I got Leyline Manipulator off the top, I could also play that and the three of them for a fourth Elemental. That would be pretty sick. I did not. Yeah, I mean, I think this is fine. I can, I can almost certainly leave up a... 6-6 six, six here, right? I don't, I don't think it's a problem. Let's go ahead and soften it up. So this is going to summon me four 8-8s. Eight, eight. Like, I have 28 health, so I think it'll be totally, totally fine, right? What kind of crazy board could they really get out of this that, like, prevents me from playing Grand Finale? I just don't envision one, right? And then, I mean, do they have, like, a Twisting Nether? Sure, it doesn't seem like it. They shouldn't, probably. I wouldn't expect it anyway. Hey, LCS! Wow, thanks for the gifted sub! Man, they're in fatigue already. I guess them getting quest done is kind of terrifying in that case, but... Until then... Aren't they in a bit of a pickle here? <laughs> I don't know, this is gonna be... Uh, I guess... I guess it's kind of scary, but... We're all good. Job done. So, I mean, there's no way they're going to, like, get Tamsin done here while also being alive, right? Why Steel shouldn't heal from armor change my mind? It's not... <laughs> I've heard that argument a lot. I, it, it's... Uh, thematically, I get you. Mechanically, it, it refers to damage, I think. So it's mechanically, it, it actually makes sense fine. But it does sort of leave you wondering um, from a thematic standpoint. How can you steal life from armor? Cool. That's a good win. Clutch. Uh, cheap fire spell. I mean, we can't really run that, I guess. It would be cool to run, but we can't because we got to keep big spells consistency, right? I think I'm actually going to take recycling, right? We, we shockingly have quite a few small minions. We get more off our hero power. The life gain buys me time to play to my big spells. It's it's weirdly not bad. We're kind of like a control deck almost, so sure. This is a big spell, but two small spells. Uh, This is three small spells. This is one small spell. I think I take this then, because it kind of messes me up the least. It's not like, it's not like Rune Orb's a disaster, right? Yeah, I restarted Deck Tracker and it didn't help. Oh, maybe I have to be on a new game. It seems to be working now. Oh, maybe that was the issue. You just have to be on a new game, perhaps. Okay. Uh, let's put these back, right? These are a little greedy. Particularly if I can hit the um, armor off the Evoker here. That'd be really nice against Priest. I, and I definitely want to get early minions down as well to get armor. We want our minions dying, so. Oh, we may not have time here. It's going to be scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this. It's gonna be pretty quick and brutal. We'll go familiar, Scorpid, boom, boom. Or no, actually we'll probably here, go here on four to gain life. Hopefully I can not hit that Rune Orb off the deep water Evoker, right? That would be our disaster roll. Yeah, you're a little late. Would've loved you last turn. Rune Orb. Actually, no, not Rune Orb, because that's never gonna go through. Oh! Okay, only I gained 10 armor, man. That's kind of bad. I. I wish I do that off this. So next year we can play two minions. That's really good. I want to play more minions faster, so we'll we'll try to do that. Uh, I guess that leaves me this on four. Oh, Rune Orb is perfect. Excellent news. Okay. Really, really good news. Only downside we have here is that our um, I don't know. Maybe I actually uh, I don't. Maybe I should have taken the uh, AOE because. I can kill my own minions off with it, which, I don't know, my minions might not die otherwise, right? Which means I may not gain armor. 
Like, Ice Barrier is really not that likely to go off against Priest. My instinct was like, oh, gain the armor. But, you know, Priest means it may not go off. Um, or maybe it will. Maybe we can try to force it. No, not yet. Let's wait. He's running at least a little bit of minion action. Okay, five armor is not great, but it's enough. It's fine. So Celestial Ice Barrier and then Rune Door, but discount something big. But I, I, I don't know. This guy may not end up hitting face, right? At the moment, I'm kind of looking at, like, face. Oh. Oh, I guess that was zero mana, huh? So that's, like, one of the heal cards. All right. That's good to know. So I can trade in a couple dudes here, play some Fireflies. Just want to get bodies down so that uh, armor gain happens. But I also still want him to go face, so I'm going to leave that guy up and undamaged. I think there's a chance it goes face now. Okay. We're 23. That's not bad, right? It's not bad. Oh, he trades now, but that still gives me armor too, so that's fine. Uh oh. What's happening here? Uh oh. Scary. Tech of Lunacy? Why would I take Tech of Lunacy? I have really good spells I know I like. I don't want to spend four mana to make them, like, probably worse. I guess I could probably lose a Blizzard in this matchup specifically, but Grand Finale is sick. I don't want to lose that. Uh, okay. Cool. Can I get a kill here at all? Oh, Arcane Artificer is good. This is five armor. All right. And a body. That's really nice. That might throw off their math a little. Might just be able to counter lethal. This guy looks so sick, by the way. This art got teased uh, early. Like, it got put on the press site, like, when Stormwind art got put up. And we were all like, what is this? I thought it was going to be some epic, like, demon that Tamsin summoned or some garbage, right? It's not. It's, it's just a random token. But he still looks so sick. Um... Let's think here. What's the best way to get this done? So we actually have, what, uh, five, six damage here? I don't think I have any lethal outs, though. So I might just want to play more minions. I might even ping off my own Pandar in here just to get a little bit of armor again, right? Oh. So that could be lethal set up next turn. Yeah, I'm actually just going to do this. This is kind of insane, but I think it's correct. We just want to maximize as much life as we can, right? Probably won't matter. Let's go ahead and do this. Um, it, this might make their life harder to play shadow spells because they take damage, right? So that's could be like, you know, they need to play two shadow spells to kill me and then they can't because they're so low. And then, of course, I still have the fireball for the lethal setup next turn. Man, recycling clutch here. Is that holy fire? Oh, void shard definitely heals them enough to stay alive probably okay it's not lethal still at 15 14 he's still four they got to deal 10 with two mana oh but they're healing a fair bit uh oh shoot the healing here does this screw me i only have eight damage man the healing here might screw me what is gray sage parrot I guess it plays the arcane thingy, right? Arcane overflow was definitely the last big spell I played, right? Thing is, I sort of need blizzard. I'm taking four and five. I mean, I can't really kill off my own minions very easily here. What's the best way for me to stay alive? Hit here, trade into the, uh, freeze this. Man, this sucks. I don't, maybe a counter spell? Still just not really setting up to wins the problem. No, none of these will matter. I don't think Spellbender will matter. Okay, this is kind of a weird, kind of a weird play, but I need to maximize damage output so that if they cast shadow spells, um, maybe I shouldn't have even froze this. If it's gonna go face, it's gonna heal me eight. Yeah, that's probably actually worse, but it's okay. Wand Thief? Why did they play shard? Oh, that's really slow. That's three more damage. Why did they play shard? Did the, I guess to stop a freeze, but maybe remove poisonous, I guess. I don't know. Right now I have enough damage, but. Okay, cool. Woo! 
Scary game, dude. Scary game. The the recycling made all the difference. I wonder why they didn't trade the shard. Was it just a setup combo, maybe? Oh, maybe it was a setup combo. Maybe that's what it was. Uh, pickaxe is actually okay for us. We have big spells we want to ramp to. I don't want these, like, cheaper spells. Sure. Weird, but <laughs> why not? Uh, let's take two, I guess. The, the Novas are cheap, right? But I don't think I want three of these. Like, it's just too risky. I don't, they don't really, uh, like, the, you know, there's not that much stuff that increases them. They're not that good. They're dead in hand. These are at least good cards. Frost Nova in particular, very powerful. So, yes, they're low cost, but we'll sort it out. Uh, everybody, look at my wife's beautiful plants. She just put up these things. Just hold them all. Um, Warrior Firebrand's okay. It's low cost. Yeah, this is fine. You can work with this. They say, wow, dang. <laughs> dang. You really thought this deck would be 0 and 3? You gotta trust in the Rage. <laughs> That's what I call myself. The Rage. <laughs> Uh, let's actually hold. We don't need this point here. Recycling was a good grab for us, for sure, because we're just pulling all these little cheap garbage minions out, so. Oh, my. That is a fast start. That would be a sick... Oh, my God. It's even faster. Oh, jeez. That is brutal. Ever-changing elixir is so good now. Man, I'm dead. I lose, right? Firebrand coin next turn might help me catch up, but he's just gonna get to like value trade this or maybe go face even. He may not even want to value trade. I think I'm too far behind. I don't think we'll pull this back. Uh, is your home humid like a greenhouse? Yeah, it's for all the sweat. I, I'm, I'm such a tryhard. I'm such a sweat when I play games, you know, I just sweat a lot. The, 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 the pure glistening sweat wicks off my body. Humidifying our plants. It's like a jungle. Lizards living in there. Little elemental creatures. <laughs> a lot of adaptations happening. Etc. <laughs> Fridge, that made me laugh, dude. <laughs> Hopefully this evolves now and not this. Okay. Still a little awkward to kill, though, honestly. I guess we'll still go Firebrand and hope to snipe that. It's just like a 50-50, right? I can ping it if it hits once. If it's twice, we'll probably do something else. Okay, cool. So I can't ping that, so I think we'll just get a body down here. Grand Finale, or do I need to play for AoE? I, I don't know, man. I think the Grand Finale is a little greedy right now, right? I think I need to play for removal. So the question is, will Fire Sail or Combustion be better? I think Combustion's a little better. It's cheaper and um, a little better at single target, like slightly better at, at removing a single thing or at least dealing more damage to a single super evolved thing. We may regret. I think he's more likely to get taller than wider, basically, is my logic. And this is slightly taller, if only slightly. One for me, one for you. I guess some six drops, though, aren't actually much better than this. Uh, what on earth is he gonna take from our deck? Uh, he would probably like a rune orb. He wouldn't mind like an arcane overflow. Blizzard would be pretty good for him, actually. Celestial ink set. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess he was thinking about what he didn't want to give me there more than what he wanted, huh? It seems. It would seem. Unfortunately, really good hero power here, it looks like. Hopefully, this evolves in that case, right? Although, this becoming a five drop is a pretty big upgrade, too. Everchange Elixir is so good in Warrior because they get to take these value chains off their hero power and then regain the stats. Oh, see, that's gross. That's a little gross. Boy, oh boy, I think we're in trouble, team. I just don't see how to pull this back, right? I need, like, um, some kind of big Leyline turn where I play a bunch of these, maybe. Hopefully this evolves into something weaker and not just, you know, progressively stronger. We're going to be in trouble. Ever-changing is just so good now. They should nerf this hero power to one. Uh, this has been a really good hero power for a long time. I haven't thought about a nerf, but... This is definitely one of the strongest hero powers. Alright, so it basically stays... Net zero this turn. I guess I want that 5-5 five, five to evolve, but I don't know. It gets... It, it, both of these get scary big, so... Whatever. Ah, yes! Yes, perfect! Okay, so we get a 3-3. Three, three. It's not great, but we stop this chain at least. 
that I can live with. This guy looks like he should be so much bigger than a 3-3, man. <laughs> he's like, he's, if you looked, it's a ship he's like exploded through. I feel like this thing should have been base 10 cost, right? Oh, that might have been too good, though. Or base 10 uh, damage, I mean. That might just be way too good, though. How do I stay alive? How do I stay alive? Can go for a Frost Nova turn. Oh my god, this weapon, man. Can the Arcane Artificer ever live? Oh no, that's a big old six drop. Shoot. I mean, here's the deal, right? I'm gonna play this. It's going to die, obviously, because he has to kill it. But maybe he has to use his weapon to do that, right? Maybe he doesn't have a good minion, or maybe he misses the minion. I don't know. I'm just sort of stuck here. I need I need minions dying. I need to hit a blizzard soon. I actually need Yogg soon. I need to be able to stall into Yogg. But like blizzard into parrot blizzard would be nuts, right? I could lock down two straight boards. Okay. Um, nice. Okay. Maybe I'll heal five off this guy extra. Nope. He's still gonna go face on it, huh? Wow. Oh no. See, so he is gonna. Yes. To see, it healed eight, even though it looked like it only healed three. That's pretty sick. That's the value in a minion like that, where they kind of have to respect it, right? Oh, crap. <laughs> ah, crap. It's going to go to 10. I'm going to trust that it becomes a uh, rabbit. I don't know. I was going to combust here, but now I'm not so sure. Should have played this first, maybe, but I wanted to see what I got, right? <sighs> There's nothing even good to discount anyway. Uh... Combustion just doesn't really do a lot. It puts that to three and this to six. It's just not especially meaningful. It just removes five damage, which that's great, but... I don't know, man. It's kind of pointless, but... Whatever. In case this doesn't get evolved. I, I think I'm, like, dead, though. It's He's got 15. I'm at 23. Like, what do I do here to possibly stay alive? Do, do, do. Is Alterac certain? It, it looks to be, yeah. There's data mining that says it's Alterac. Like, everybody thought it was Alterac. I mean, for all intents and purposes, it looks like 99% Alterac, yeah. That doesn't mean it'll be called, like, Alterac Valley necessarily, right? Or it might have, like, Battle for Alterac or Battle for... I don't know. Whatever, you know. War for Alterac Valley sort of stuff. But that's the, that's the definite leading uh, theory. Oh, I just really needed Blizzard, man. Cthune is notably weaker. Grey Sage Parrot here does theoretically uh, recast Arcane Overflow still, right? But I really want to hold it for that Blizzard, I think. Maybe let's look for another Frost Nova, some kind of card like that. Explosive Runes isn't really helpful. Deck of Wonders, I mean, <laughs> theoretically is, but... Your image is kind of a good stall, actually. I can go bury your image and sort of hope for the best again. Just wait for that blizzard. I don't still really know how to win after the blizzard. I'm not, like, winning necessarily, because I'll still have to beat a juggernaut somehow, which I haven't sorted that part of the equation out yet. But Yogg can steal games. I don't know. There's stuff to play for, at least. These are just good life, good stall. Barrier negates this damage. That's Rokara done. I feel like it has to be Blizzard here. I don't guess I have mana for Yogg, so it's not that. This could still bail me out as well. Evoker, I doubt, gives me enough time, but maybe... Maybe Glacial Shard could stall out enough damage. It's getting tough to keep up, though. Pandaren into Blizzard. No oh, blizzard started in the deck. Uh, combustion again. Combustion on the 4 1. That kills this, but that leaves a lot. I think Frostbolt's just a better way to stay alive, right? Blizzard, Frost Nova, Ignite. Need to kill off my own minions to be alive. I think I'm just dead, guys. Unless they make a major mistake somehow. 
But there's just no way to stay alive. Let's just draw some cards. Usually, yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. Uh, just that on board. A 13. Yeah, just hit it twice. Yeah, that's great news. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. Oh, the new weapon, though, could... Oh, they can't go face! Oh, but I got pinged anyway, so I'm dead. Oh, if I hadn't gotten pinged, I might have been alive. Or if it had killed a minion, actually, even. But now they have 10 again. Just on board. Oh, wait, he's missing lethal. He just missed lethal. He killed a minion, which means I gain armor. So he misses lethal. Oh my god, can I possibly get a blizzard now to... Oh my god. <laughs> if I get a blizzard now, I would still have to be able to beat the uh, juggernaut pings. So I'd have to play minions in and hope that they died. Oh no! No! <laughs> Max BM! No! Oh, come on! No! <laughs> oh. Maximum BM. We really did not hit our big spells this game. Or our big armor gain uh, person either. I guess it's goggles, right? I mean, yeah, goggles is pretty good. We don't have that many battle cries. Orb, I mean... Orb is cool, but I don't actually have that many discovers if you look closely, right? There's just a few. One, two, three. It's not enough. So this will discount stuff way more. We might uh, actually be able to get some big spells discounted fairly quickly. All right, this is an elemental package for sure. Definitely does not support Chinvala though. <laughs> Guys, I think I'm gonna take this bucket. <laughs> I think, I think the cheap spell sucks. Imprisoned Phoenix is actually not that good for me. I have too many minions. And Jinval is not that good for me. These battle cries, I think, are notably better. I'm, I'm actually going to take this freaking bucket. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Man. Minions with recycling, though, are helpful to my game plan. Oh, early ley line. Interesting. Uh, is that worth just like a turn two? Like ping on one, play ley line on two, just to get the two one. Oh, I can even coin ping and play three minions on turn two. Honestly, not terrible, guys. I think we might do that. It's just a big four five. I get a couple freezies in. Oh, wow. There's my guys I got. Cool. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, so ping on one, get the two one in hand. And then on turn two, I ping coin ley line and I play both of the, both of the freezies. And the ley line. Turn three, I have bomb lobber. Hopefully, there's a good target. But if not, we'll probably just throw the body in. That's fine. Let's see if they're like quest. Okay, pirate quest. Good start. That's a good ping target for me, though. That's great. That's actually perfect. We'll save this guy for later, probably. I mean, we could go rune orb and try to get that card discounted as well. But that seems too too greedy, actually. I don't know. I don't like that as much. Oh, no. Wow. Perfect curve. Go, dude. Uh, I guess this dies to two ones if I ping it, so let's do that. I think I like this game plan still. It's just a lot of pressure. Could lock down face early, which could really slow them down if they can't kill both of these immediately, or even if they kill one, right? Just keep, keep it going. Um, they're pretty likely to play another minion, so... Hopefully bomb lobber is good there. I wonder what weapon they have. Does this thing just go face? What does this 3-2 do? Feels weird trading it into a... Th I mean, do you trade it into the 4-5? I guess that's not crazy. Set up to kill this sooner. Bomb lobber nuts, though. This is looking good. Grand finale we like. Get the lockdown face here. This might be hard for him to get out ahead of now because he got a weapon he might want to use and now he's locked out. Uh, Bat Rider is like the little cousin of the Bomb Lobber. Oh yeah, see, this is just locked out. That four mana turn is just completely shut out. Uh, let's start here. We're probably just going to Raven Familiar. We'll hold that Bat Rider until it makes more sense. Tradable just to gain some, some draw maybe later seems good. And we are zooing this game right now. Fire Stomp, okay. Ice Barrier screwed us. But at this point, I mean, we're in a really good position. I don't know, man. You can't use Hero Power reliably or Axe at the moment. 
Uh, thank God that fire stomp's not in hand. That would be very good. Uh, at the moment, though, he's just dead. Wow. Oh, actually, he might snipe. No, he's not dead yet. Hold up. Oh. Oh, is he dead? Oh, I'm a little off. I have eight. I have eight. Uh, this could sometimes find me lethal, but I think I'd just rather play this to make sure that I don't throw. Because, like, we're definitely doing this always. I think we're pinging face always. I could look here, play this, ping face, play an artificer. Problem is with this, it kind of might miss this. I feel like I have to ping it. I mean, I don't know if that's a problem necessarily. What's, is there any one mana outs here? I don't think so. Are there any four mana outs? Pickaxe? Wand Thief, sorta. No, we'll play it straight. Let's see where this hits. We may ping the minion. Okay, we won't ping the minion. We'll, I guess we'll put them to one, right? And then they need healing distinctly. Go ahead and play this to open up the goggles to get grand finale sooner. Yeah. Okay. Still, in a, I think we're still in a great spot. <laughs> this poor five five weapons just frozen. His hero power is frozen. It's really fire stomp. I think that that uh, would bring them back. Other than that, I think. Oh no, dude. Oh. Top deck fire stomp, man. Oh. Now Nova is like useless to me, man. Oh, gross. They're back to 12. <sighs> yeah, we'll go brain freeze on this. I think I need to put a freeze in right again, just because it's awkward for them. I don't want a blizzard yet, so now we're gonna stretch this game out long again, which sucks because Juggernaut's still hard to beat, and I don't have direct damage in the deck. Really sucks that Fire Stomp came through, man. Kills the poisonous. Might have some other way to kill this freeze, it looks like. Yeah, deck hand will probably have to trade in here because you're scared of the freeze. That makes sense to me. Um, I would run I would like to blizzard and play some elementals this turn, but I don't really have any. I just have my paying ones i need like a firefly off the top fire sail i really don't think i can blizzard here i may just have to play a full cost uh grand finale next turn with just the one elemental honestly you never knew you frostbolt's really good i think we frostbolt face right now it does mean I can't ping and elemental though. If I ping the minion like I want, I can't frost bolt as well. But I definitely don't want him drawing cards and I definitely want to deal face damage, so it's okay. We'll just delay the grand finale for a minute. It's fine. Definitely more important than an eye of the card draw, I think, or the damage or whatever, right? I need what? Um, I don't really know. This, this is Rokara. Maybe I can Blizzard this turn, ping the minion, develop some two ones. Set up for the grand finale. It's just like double Juggernaut now. It's really hard to beat, man. I, that Fire Sail top deck's just gonna absolutely screw us, I think. Honestly. I don't know if I can beat that. That was like the one super weakness we had here. I mean, over the top damage is definitely still a path. Oh, I can only play one shard. Shoot. One doesn't feel like enough. Because the pings are going to eat it, you know? Maybe I just have to start pinging face and hoping for the best, right? Whoa, well, because I don't think this is going to stick either now. Yeah, I think I have to just start pinging face and hope to discover, like, Oh, uh, and now it's Yogs or Want the Fireball type stuff. Like, ugh, that Fire Sail, dude. It's just completely, s not Fire Sail, Flame Stomp. What if it's called Fire Stomp? I don't know what it's called. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about regardless. Freebooters. So we can just Nova here for a minute. Oh, Yogs Tasties. Do we go for that or do we try to get in the Grand Finale first? Let's try to get in the Grand Finale first. It's pretty good this turn. Can't actually clear the 2 5 off of it quite yet, but I guess it doesn't matter if I have two of these. I only need one to connect theoretically, right? So. 
Hopefully that'll be fine. Oh, that might be a good way to help them clear these, especially if, if they take the right amount of damage. Oh, never mind. Okay, hold up. It's gone. Forgot. So that 8-6 at the moment, right, could just push because their board is full. The 8-2 trades in, the 8-6 hits face, right? Like, that's the... Or whatever order, it doesn't matter, but, you know. Oh, but if he hits one... Oh, he's dead. He can't hit one, so... If the board is locked out, this is fine. We just win. Okay, cool. Wow. Scary, guys. That was not... That was a close game, dude. We almost lost that. That was way too close. Why not finale first? If it was for goggles, yeah, sure, yeah. To get a ping. I wasn't thinking about playing anything else, but a ping would have been fine. We don't need no much army knife, right? Well, I don't know. Wand is like... It... <sighs> They're all big spells, so that's fine. I wonder if if no, Army Knife doesn't give me a win condition, maybe. I don't know. There's nothing that big except finales. I'm going to take Wand still. I think Wand is just too reliable. It's really self-sufficient, right? Which is nice. Uh, this is actually a really good bucket for us, honestly, because we can we can put Yogg at the top, we can Blizzard, we can Doomsayer, etc. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I liked the ley line early. That was pretty sweet. We could do the same sort of thing. I'm a little risky here opening up this left spot for goggles, but hopefully nothing punishing comes in. Lobber's not great, but it's okay. It's certainly not a problem. So they have Eerie and Backpacks. Okay. Interesting combo, right? Uh, these blizzards are kind of awkward. I, I was, like, keeping this to play from ahead a little bit, right? And now the blizzards might get a tad stranded don't love gonna go ahead and ping to get more shards in because i think we want to ley line all at once so shards are powerful will they play something to make this guy rewarding on three because then i can ping ley line for three on on turn four ah oh i can't imagine a better target honestly bomb lover has been op he's so good why is bomb lover the best card in duels You've inspired me to play duels for the first time in months, and I'm having a blast. Awesome. Yeah, I love duels lately, man. So, yeah, we'll ping. This is looking great. Big old board load here. Hopefully, no punishing clear again. Fire stomp stuff. I mean, now the fire stomp's not as scary because the heal's not as relevant, right? It's not like I've gotten them to one. Uh, maybe they'll just build a counter board here and I can use the blizzards in a really compelling way and just kind of hit face right so that I don't have to lose out on my goggle bonuses. If they start like trading in minions, because they have rush, right? Rocket backpacks means they can trade in at least a little. That's not going to take a great trade on itself though. That's fine. Hey, Razor, thanks for the three months. And Tremudi is for the hundred bits. Um, no worries, man. I know you're busy. Don't worry. I, I... Uh, I did hear, though, this may interest you in particular. Uh, they apparently added new hype train emotes. I was playing a lot of Diablo Duels earlier. I don't know if Doom Charge is better than the three-minute hero power, but it's definitely more fun. <laughs> yeah, no, I would, I'm with you. It's pretty slow. It's hard to get it to work well. But it is a lot of fun, yeah. Okay, taking the freeze. I like that, all right. They did get some extra damage requests, so that's always noteworthy. Yeah, these honestly took really, really good trades, didn't they? So yeah, the blizzard's screwed, but we'll be fine. Let's just keep building stuff out and keep going here. Nova's not our best draw, obviously. We want something better than Nova. Oh, nice for you, congrats. Uh, Ecor, thanks for the raid. 18-person raid. Welcome, everybody. Bum, bum, bum. Backfire. Man, they are taking some heat. Uh, but they are going quick on quest. Always scary, because I don't have a lot of finishing potential in this deck, right? We have a lot of setup, but not a lot of finishing potential. So I'm scared if they get to a Tamsin world or they can really push the Tamsin, we'll be in trouble. I need to make sure I'm sticking as much damage as possible in the meantime to make that hard for them to do safely. Thankfully for them, their hero power makes it much safer than normal. They don't really lose any damage while taking damage. Lose any health. I need to draw like what? Actually, Void Ripper would be some bonus damage right now. That'd be kind of fun. Some way to get. Oh, okay, sure. It's pretty good, I'd say. Save a lot of life there if you're trying to. Sadly, I'm still in this world where. I have things you never. 
don't oh that's damage okay yeah we'll do this we don't need the board clear or anything we want the damage so that looks good more damage here maybe no spring water's not great for us actually like entity we might be able to force it on a tamsin and that could really surprise them later right i think that's kind of cool um no we have one shard to freeze now I think if they're going to get cleared, it's probably going to be some kind of board clear or something. Oh, wand. Does it show them the wand, guys? I don't I don't know. So if it does, is that good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> Either way, I'm not sure what's what's advantageous there. Uh, they can, You can't really play around it if you need to play minions, but you know it's there. So they're 12. I have six available damage, but that requires a little extra mana than I have at the moment. Tunneler. Okay. It does show them? Okay. That's how I remembered it, but that's gotta be kind of depressing. <laughs> I like to know that your opponent has the ultimate board clear in hand. Like, what do you do? I guess you think you have to win via Tamsin over the top damage, but the thing is like, I'm already at 36 still, and like, I'm gonna gain, there's four more health on board I can gain. It, you know, they have a long, long way to go. Leyline, that's cool. Discount that thing you just got. Leyline has carried this deck, by the way, guys. The only reason we've won, well, if we win this game, the only reason we'll have won it is because of the early Leyline. Goggles Leyline is, is pretty good, it turns out. Okay, I mean, this is six, seven, so this is definitely it. Cool. Yeah, man, this deck is like winning a shocking amount of games. I don't feel like it's very good. <laughs> it's just like it's okay it's doing a thing it's got a plan it's it's an okay plan i would say uh merlock holmes is kind of cool i think i need like stuff now i don't know this isn't really that useful to us we don't hate damage but we're not really trying for it oh my god <laughs> no this is okay uh these are all th this is at least two minions right the, the rude orb's still not ideal but it's certainly not bad Rune Orb's been pretty good for us, I think. Yeah, this is cool. I Hopefully we don't get stuck with anything big here. I don't think Parrot's worth keeping there for six mana, right? We want to really push this. In fact, I think I'll Doomsayer on one just to open it up. Um, do I coin a Hero Power on one as well just so that I have... Um, yeah, I think so to make the Ley Line better. Yeah, we will. I want to get I want to get as many two ones in hand as possible early. So Doomsayer, coin Hero Power. Rune Orb for one. Hero Power. Firebrand for one, Leyline for two. That'll be a perfect line. It's all good. I am fairly certain this dude will live, so let's pink face, not the minion. Yeah, this is a pretty good line. You assume they pass this turn usually, so I kind of kill their crystal jib too, unless they have like a way to draw cards or something useful. Oh, that's pretty good. A little bit of a mana fill there. Still working just fine for us though. Hopefully our ice shards have a way to uh, stay alive. Like there's not a city tax or that sort of thing going on. Um, let's see. Flame geyser is going to be free when I play the ley line. I mean, they're all going to be free when I play the ley line, but I think this is the most useful to do that at the time I play the ley line. Let's do that. Cause I may not really need to play the other things, but I may want to play that guy. Oh, hold up. Am I pinging here or firebrand? Oh yeah, I'm pinging here. And then Firebrand Leyline next turn will make all three of these things free. If I wanted to, I could ping another turn and play like Firebrand Babbling Book. Oh, there you go. Or Firebrand Flame Geyser to clear. This coming back off the air power is actually pretty scary. It's a way for them to react to the board a lot. Do they have a spell? Will it be a meaningful spell? Few questions to answer here, right? I definitely don't want this up when I play um, the shards, right? That's not very good. I think I'm actually just gonna clear this. We're gonna pivot a little bit, I guess. This still makes the one, two free. So it's, it's not as good as an ice shard, but it's still a body for the ley line to discount next turn, right? And I certainly win tempo here. I'm hoping this paladin doesn't have a lot of like spells to to realize these firebrand values when they hit them, you know. Okay, so actually we can go here too and discount this as well. Do I want to ping as well? I think we'll clear this actually, right? You want to cast a spell? 
It's not the best feeling trade by any means, but... Oh. How much faith do I have, team? <laughs> uh... Do I trust the arcane missiles or not? I don't think so. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna just play it straight. I think I'm gonna play it straight. I am all in here. So if they have a consecration or something. I'm screwed. Don't. I need. They're gonna have their weapon on five, and hopefully I can freeze it out for next turn. Right? Like. They have a taunt or something. I can hopefully get through it safely and freeze out their weapon for the move. Oh my god, they top deck weapon. Oh, what a god. Be small, be small, be small. Okay, that's pretty small. That's good, because I get to freeze now. That's what really mattered, right? Reality. Yeah, I think we'll freeze the, the smite as well, right? Well, let's see if we can kill this might first, I guess. Hold up. We might just kill it. That would be much better. Okay. Yeah, we'll still kill it. Just in case there's any other pirate sites. So we are, like, totally out of gas here. I have no cards of value. I'm saving this in case I want to freeze a minion or, like, these die somehow and I need to freeze face again, right? I think it's pretty clutch to have that. Okay. Kill the armor game guy, not the freezers. Interesting. I find that quite intriguing. I think we still clear minions here as a priority over face. We're not quite ready to secure a lethal hit yet. Uh, I need cards, so Tome might be the right way to fill mana. I could also go runes to like deal with the next minion played. I honestly don't hate that. Could have Divine Shield, which would screw me. Seven mana, it's not Tyrion yet. Uh, I don't know. I think I need resources more. I'm not really that desperate to clear a minion right now, so let's play for resources first. Yeah, I think this is better. I mean, hero power always gives me some resources technically, but I might need in a pinch damage or something, right? And and divine shields is not good for explosive runes, so that would have been okay, but it's not a high priority kill either, so don't feel like I missed too much opportunity there. Uh, well, Wand Thief does get kind of annoyingly expensive here, though. I need to snipe this. I don't want them drawing cards. Yeah, it's fine. Spells are fun. So fun. So fun. So they draw, but we're still doing the thing we need to be doing, right? I think I can keep playing minions, honestly. I, I have um, ways to freeze face, so it's not like I'm overcommitting these too much. You know, they have to hit exactly a board clear out of, you know, 22 cards. I think they're going to have a minion heavy deck. So over respecting like a city tax or consecration or whatever to me just doesn't make sense here. I think we have much more reasonable ways to address these problems. Pickaxe is actually some more damage output, I guess. I feel like I need to ping and blizzard maybe though. It's also pretty clean. Still get to connect face, plenty. They are drawing some big thing here. So that's scary, but... Hopefully we can figure out a way to deal with it, or just at the very least stall it out and start pinging face, maybe, right? <laughs> it's like, I need to freeze their face, though, so... If it's a big taunt in particular they drew, that could be a problem, because I may not be able to push through it easily. Oh, uh, he's usually going to have taunt, right? He's usually... Oh, he only drew... Oh, no. That animation is so slow. Yeah, he drew three, so he's got taunt. How do I deal with that, man? I need arcane overflow. Void Ripper is actually actively bad. Let's go tome here and see what we find. I don't even know what I get, really, that's exciting. I may have to Glacial Shard face this turn. I kind of want a Frost Nova as well, because this is big and annoying. They don't really have to, though, to be fair. Oh, this isn't quite like a guaranteed lethal or anything, but it's not bad. Okay. Um, I think I go ahead and trade this in, right? Because it's just going to die to the Argent Squire anyway. So what's the point of holding it? 
We lock out that one more turn. I set up for this to somehow win, right? I don't know how, but we figure something out. If not win, at least like stall or clear. Scorpion. So Frost Nova's good. Pickaxe is not good. I needed to hit face eight times. <laughs> Can it be done? It might be worth playing anyway just to clear um, this and like these divine shields and stuff, right? This has stealth, which is pretty sweet because it might be able to connect face, but it's not going to be that easy to set up, right? I think I'm better off just taking the cheap one and getting more out of this turn. So let's go ahead and mask here and see what happens. Um... We'll make decisions based on that, like what I need to ping down or not. So they got hit once. This is a two. This doesn't feel like a good Frost Nova turn. Like, I'm going to give them weapon, but I can't stop that. So let's um, see what this gets us. And then probably just ping and set up for a win. Like, find some damage or something, right? The Evolving Missile seems pretty good. Oh, Shatter might be good too, though, because of the Frost Nova. Yeah, I think that's fine. Even if it's like a Tyrion, I don't really care that much about the damage. I have a ton of life. So just being able to remove threats is probably more important than like slow down any sort of silence. I don't need like a silence effect, right? It'll, they're not going to have a rattle gore that like outright wins the game. So any kind of Tyrion or Cariel or whatever that comes off this is is going to be easily removed with Shatter. Okay, so they're at eight. I mean, I have, you know, 56 health. I have... Uh, even more once this Ice Barrier goes off, 64. So we have all the time in the world here as long as I can just, like, stall out and just, honestly, just ping them down would be fine. Um, okay, that is bad news. That changes everything. Suddenly, the pinging them down is no longer an out, and I have to actually play Hearthstone. Well, shoot. Dude just healed for a billion. Arcane overflow. I need to like ping this and overflow it so I can start hitting face again. Yeah, that's fine. Do I use the shatter here on the run thack or do I need to wait? I guess I don't really have another good freeze, so I might need to use it here, huh? Or is this actually the better target? Because it's uh, got Divine Shield, I guess. Yeah, maybe this is the better target, honestly. Okay, whatever. All right. Oh, my. Deck of Lunacy. Oh, goodness. So, how do I win now? Let's think. Uh, I need a wand soon. I need blizzards. I have a lot of good cards in my deck. I just need to draw. Honestly. We'll be okay. Olvar and Rag. Oh, crap. Rag is a problem. Shoot, my draws are not that good. I'm looking, and it's like, I don't have any good cards left, guys. I <laughs> have, like, utter garbage left. Uh, we might be in trouble, man. I'm not convinced here, team. That's not meaningful. Just gonna go as wide as I can here, right? And uh, hope for the best, but I feel like I am in trouble. Rag don't even care about the freezes. Oh, that lifesteal completely threw this game out of whack, right? I had this win condition where we just played for face. I really need to draw well. I need to draw Wand, Yogg, Blizzard. I have some dead draws too is the problem, right? I have like um, Fireflies. I have I have some garbage here. So we'll see. Oh my god. Second rag? I need wand. It's gotta be wand. I have no other draws. It's gotta be wand. I don't have any other way to clear this board. Blizzard. I mean, it's like the next best thing, right? The 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 rags still unfortunately do their thing, but it's okay because I have minions I can play. I can't, I don't think I can play the deck, right? I don't think I can play deck because I need wand. Otherwise, these rags are just going to own me. Yeah, it's got to be wand, man. It's got to be wand. It's one out of 17 still somehow. I don't know how that's possible, but... 
He, did I miss him copying these or does he just have three natural rags? Come on, dude. Wand, please have some justice in the world. Wand. Bomb idiot. Oh my god, bomb idiot's not the not the play, man. I guess it Boulevard and Uh, that's probably the worst one, right? If this hits that, I can ping it, I guess. They're gonna hit thing. Oh, okay. They're at least consistent. I have to hit one, though, or I'm taking too much damage. I'm still gonna die. Oh my god, he's got rags in his hero power now, which he'll inevitably. What? It's this dick! This guy deserves to win, honestly. I'm not even mad. Wand! 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 Firefly. Just delightful. Okay, cool. I cannot play deck, guys. I just cannot do it yet. I'm sorry. I just cannot play deck. I have to play... I'm gonna hit here so I can maybe freeze it. I don't think I'm there on damage yet, right? So... Hopefully no board clear that opens up these rag shots face, because that'll start looking, like, lethal if that happens. Um... He has three rags. Hey, uh, Serious Gaming, by the way, thanks for the uh, two months. Oh my god. Mather had to. No. No. Dude. This guy has the greediest dual stack I've ever seen. Ever. Want. Want. <gasps> I have to play deck now because it can be Oh My Yog. This can be Oh My Yog. So I have to rip the deck to try to play around Oh My Yog. I don't want to. I honestly don't want this, but I have to, right? I just have to. Okay. What is that? Oh, Redemption! I'm an idiot! I pinged the wrong thing! Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I got a face tank, and it's fine. Oh, I just pinged the face because I forgot. Oh, God. I took eight for no reason. Ugh. What? <laughs> Tried to save me. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, man. I have to kill it, though, because it's going to get worse, right? Oh, okay, I can ping there and trade. That's actually fine. Oh, Bulvar sucks, though. Ink set? No! Come on! I need real cards. What can I possibly draw here that's good enough? There's just no way. Yogg, actually. Uh, Parrot. Oh, my God. Parrot would be nuts because it plays Wand again. Murloc's too slow. Murloc Holmes. Um, well done. Am I dead? God almighty. How did this guy get to five games? Parrot. Guard the animals. No. Oh, that's easy. Oh wait, I actually, I actually have a minion. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I don't know how this guy got to to five games with the greediest deck on earth. It's actually the greediest deck I've ever seen. Like he must have got a bucket with three rags. Put your faith in the light. These are not even like duplicate cards. These are all in the deck. He has two Tyrians, Varian, Colossus of the Moon, Triple Rag, Four Dragon, Smite, Talon, Double Argent Commander, Run Thack. It's like he has no early game cards. And yet, despite that, he managed to have all of them against us early. That's that's pretty impressive. I think it's this. A Maligos last game would have saved me, right? This is pretty good. This is like not bad, but uh, I don't know. They're all like techie and it's like they'll only be good some of the time. I think these are all universally good. That that was the craziest deck I've ever seen. Is that too greedy, guys? Is that too greedy? Do I want to put it in there for the evoker, maybe. I think it's too greedy. I'm sorry. I think it's too this this for three would be pretty nuts. Maybe I'll try to keep this and slide it over quickly. All right, I'm going to get it off the Evoker anyway, so it's fine, right? It's fine. That's what we're going to tell ourselves anyway. All right, Hero Power on one. A Rally and Cannibalism. Wild. They might have some crazy token stuff going on. All right, Elementals make sense. We're going to build up here for the Grand Finale. 
this doomsayer is like awkward right I, i'm probably not really gonna want to play this on three maybe i'll just play it on two here and try to stick it this way yeah i think this is better way more likely to make an impact right now because this two five won't contest it and then i get to remove the healthier really efficiently right and deny them any tempo hopefully oh, okay they're still gonna get value out of this turn though it's not bad So Evoker ping here is good. I hope it draws Yogs for me. Ooh, Parrot's fun. Draw Yogg, baby. Draw Yogg, baby. Don't draw Rune Dorb. Frost Nova's good to have. I'm not going to complain about a Frost Nova. So they've been play any minion now for this overflow. And then this is going to be six mana. So on turn five, I need to go Heavy Elemental. Which I'll have because this is turn four. I'll ping on turn five. I'll play two of these and ping, I guess. It would be nice to hit like a Ley Line or something. Ooh, that's good to see too. Man, I can't use this though. Just throwing off my curve here. I guess we'll still just play stuff then. Maybe the uh, grand finale will get stalled out here a bit, but if I'm getting an advantage now, it's fine. It's hands a weird mix, right? Because we kind of have advantage, but we're like wanting to play from behind a bit. It's kind of problematic. It's backwards, basically. It's actually a fine overflow target. Get a big 5-5. Five five. This is much better. That's kind of annoying against my two ones, though, isn't it? Maybe we take the smaller minion here just in order to... No, I can just ping that. It's fine. I'll take the bigger dude, right? 6-6 six, six is... How much better is a 6-6 six, six than a 5-5? Five, five? It's a little better. <laughs> I mean, is it, I'd rather have a 6-6 six, six than a ping face, right? I think is what I'm... The math I'm basically doing. Because I'm either going to ping face or ping the the two one here so i think i'd rather have the stats than the ping in a in essence because i think this may hit as well and give me that one damage back anyway and it's more sticky in the process right so grand finale is not very good at the moment unfortunately um i wonder if we ever play it though just to play a, a parrot uh later i don't think so i can like ping double shard this turn or something Ooh, that's gross yeah, I'll just I'll just ping double shard this turn and then we'll set off. It's fine. This is pretty good against this, honestly. I'm really glad we went for the six six, right? Worked out well. So this opens up the finale into the parrot. Now the parrot, I guess, will just summon me one eight eight. Unfortunately, because I won't have a cheap enough way to do that. Now that said, I could just Maligos in the meantime and save it, basically, right? Because it remembers over multiple turns. As long as I don't play another big spell in the meantime. It might be okay. They might have AoE removal too for Grand Finale, right? There's Twisting Others that exist, although currently we're playing it in turn 7, so... They could have Wand or whatever else. Do we know if Parrot cares about discounts? I don't actually know. I'm making an assumption, but... Uh, for this one, thankfully it won't matter since it's at 6. Okay, that's still fairly slow. Do we freeze that guy or not? Do we just go face? This happens for sure, I think. This happens for sure, I think. I think we freeze him. He's pretty good at, at softening these up for like, uh, I don't know. Uh, ping and then ping next turn, maybe. I have 24 plus ping next turn anyway, so ping minion should be okay if these live and everything. Um, you know, like, uh, what's that? Like, Soul Rins, you know, deals 5. So a 4-4 four, four might trade into an 8-8 eight, eight if it deals 5. And then clear 1 sort of thing. So. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, that's just too slow. That's just game, right? I have not seen this card in forever, by the way. Super sick card. I forgot existed. I love Valdras. But it's just, they gotta have something for 0 mana here to, to st stabilize. To heal or clear. That doesn't matter. We have 25. Cool. Nice, dude. This deck is so weird. It like plays like a zoo deck almost because of these little elementals. They're better than I thought, by the way. These ice shards have been carrying. That's the only reason this deck's winning. Not only because of the grand finale, but just like in general, they're just good on board. Leyline certainly helps that, but I think, I mean, I don't know. This game, I had a million cards. The previous game, I did feel out of cards a little bit. Uh, Looming Presence is unfortunately a low-cost spell, but I like that it draws and gains armor. I don't think I really need fangs. We have, like, wand, and we have stalls. 
So, you know, I feel like Fangs is less useful. And same for Krusty, really. So I think I'm, I'm leaning towards Presence here. Just to help me find my big spells. I still have not played Yogtastic Tasties. We're into game whatever this is. Game 7 or 8 or something? We're going into game 8. Alright, uh, let's keep a wand just to be safe. Although it could get a little stuck. But it's just so powerful, I think I have to. <sighs> Babbling Book's good on one, but it... it uh... Eh, it's fine. We can play it on one. I like pinging on one usually, but it's all good. Oh, that's great for goggles. Okay, cool. We can actually coin this on uh, on one if I wanted to and play this on two. That's pretty good. Just really get out ahead here. Yeah, I like that actually. Oh, flame waves is scary. Never be afraid of your inner power. Never be afraid of your inner power. It's not a competition. Oh, wow. Sick opener, dude. Uh, oh man, grand finale makes these elemental things so sick. Oh, that might not be bad actually to get a little tempo back. That's cool. Uh, they're going quick, so uh, why aren't they overloaded? Your spells overload one and cost two less. Oh, they have the hero. I'm so dumb. It's their hero power. <laughs> hero power oh, i'm so dumb i feel like i never get plague bringer with this hero power by the way ever that's why i was so surprised we never get it it's impossible to get i actually kind of want them to get ahead here weirdly so that uh, i can play want not a minion i need a minion to open up wand space come on weirdly firebrand forbidden flame is kind of decent good Eat on the lightning there too. Yeah, do we just play this? Take this right here. Steady the sails. I think so. I, I do sorta of don't want to be ahead, but also I don't mind it. We can just chill. We're not in a huge, huge hurry. This is pretty deep for a no overload build. Uh it's cause they got Plague Bringer, I guess. Almost all shamans are running uh Wind Fury attacky thing, you know? That's all we ever see, anyway. Ooh, I would love to Arcane Overflow that, but... Can't. Unless I wand now. <sighs> it feels so bad. Uh, the thing is, like, you know Doomsayer's not going to connect here. And I also, I really want to be able to play Grand Finale on 6. So if I wand ping now, on 5, I could play Flame Flame Elemental, and I could Grand Finale on 6. I think it's worth it. Of your inner power. I think I'm going to do it, guys. It's so weird, but it's risky. But I got Yogs as a backup plan, and this plays to the win, right? Because I get a four grand finale board. So let's just do it. I don't know. They're out of gas anyway, so maybe it'll work. So three elementals and a ping. Then grand finale on six. Hopefully they don't have a good AoE to deal with that. Their own wand or whatever. That dude's scary, but not that bad, actually. As long as they, they don't get any kind of lethal setup in the two turns or whatever, we'll be fine. Uh, we're going to have 32 damage with the Grand Finale minions stick later. If I ever have to pivot to Arcane Overflow or something, this dies anyway, so let's ping face. Hopefully we can like freeze this guy or freeze face, freeze something meaningful, right? Cookie is, uh, he's not that bad. He's fine. We're we just gonna get to freeze this dude? That's so sick if so. Wow, we do. Okay, cool. And that's absolutely the right call, I think. So they heal two, but you know, we have like a billion. Um, I mean, actually, technically we only have 32, 33, 35. So I guess the heal two here would technically keep them alive, wouldn't it? <laughs> Shoot. Uh, I could go pickaxe, though, so that's fine. They're going to go for the lifesteal weapon as well, so that may actually be enough to keep them out of range, right? Let's see. Hold up. 32, 34, 35, and they're 37. I have 36. Oh, man. The double cookie hit there. Oh, Rune Dorb saves today. Okay, cool. Let's see. <laughs> that was honestly close though, man. Uh, we almost didn't get it. Jeez. Scary, dude. 
cool. Man, this deck's actually really cool, guys. Grand finale is sick. We're never gonna get to play Yogs, I guess. I just keep winning too soon. I'm surprised how, oh my God. It's a lot of big spells and a lot of damage. I don't actually think it's still good though. I, I think it's we're better off of what we have. We want to increase the odds of grand finale and wand, like our best cards. These don't increase the odds of that. So I don't think we take it. It's sort of overkill. We're really more of a, go we're almost more of a goggles recycling deck now than a big spell mage at heart. Have we played a single parrot of, of merit? <laughs> That's a great rhyme. A parrot of merit. I said a parrot of merit. Boo. That's a good rhyme. I said parrot of merit. Oh, you feel slimy. You got lotion on? Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, yeah, this is good. Ooh, perfect. Yeah, great, great, great. Yes. This is a dump the hand kind of hand. And it's got some reload built in too, which is nice. Together now and party replacement. Oh, I hate party replacement. It's gonna be a cheap parrot, but I need I need a good spell for it. Party replacement's so hard to keep up with. This isn't a bad hand, but I just like, am I gonna get ahead enough, you know? All this work chipping through minions all the time. Coin! Spirit bomb! Excuse me? That was not appreciated, sir. I need cards. Yeah, it's got to be intellect, I think. Parrot is really straggling my goggles for a minute, too. It's going to be dead for a minute. Firebrand Tome is pretty good recovery later. I might just have to go, like, ping Flame Flame here to stay caught up. Oh, no armor for that's really good, I guess. Okay. Yeah, this is really not ideal, but... I think it sets us up better for later. It's debatable if the two minions are better or worse than the ice shard. I don't know the answer to that either. This seemed a little more susceptible to removal, but also these don't do as much damage. You know, they do the same, but we'll find out, I guess. Uh, ultimately, it looks like we're good. Four health was the magic number here, so. I need to get a big spell for Parrot, though. I don't think I want it to be Blizzard. It's not inherently bad. I, I would almost rather something cool, though, like Wand, Finale. That said, because of where it is, I don't want to wait too long on it, so. See if this gives me anything cool. Not cool. I mean, good card, I guess, but not that cool. Batrider ping is uh, good to deal with these. I mean, Blizzard's potentially quite good, I guess, against all these tutus. I really need the opponent to run out of cards, though, because they have a win condition built in with their, their quest. I can't just go all day. So I need them to run out of cards, and I need to, like, stabilize my own board at that point, right? Cause they're gonna start hitting me pretty hard soon off uh, questy stuff. Yeah, I guess we'll just go Batrider and hope for the best here. Hit the 2-2, two -two, this one. Hit the 2-2, two -two, I said. That's a very descriptive reach. It, he only gets poison! They're not that, I mean, I'd rather him get poison than divine shields for the record, but it, it's just ridiculous. It's been poisoned three times in a row. He got the taunt once and three straight poisons. Come on now. What is the difference with duels? Uh, duels is basically like a no holds barred version of Hearthstone. There's treasure cards that have like crazy powers and like do obscene stuff and hero powers that are totally broken. It's like Hearthstone, but everything's broken. It's like they decided that they were gonna make it really easy to break the game, but in like a fun way. Well, some, some people would say in a fun way. I guess not everybody would say in a fun way. I mean, if I go Blizzard here, I can open up the goggles and play Parrot next turn. I don't really think it's a home run play, though, is the problem, right? I get a 6-6 six, six that freezes a board. Is opening up the goggles worth it, in other words? Like, would I rather just maybe Arcane and let them get a bigger board and then Blizzard twice, you know? I think I'd rather do that. Like, bait them into a bit of a board first, then go from there. We might just, like, ping Arcane Missiles here, but let's see what we get. Overflow's cool, Wand Thief's cool. Yeah, let's see what we... I'm sure we'll be able to kill one of these, if not both. Both is even better. 
Uh, I don't know if every fair game will go off reliably enough, so let's take Primordial. This still generates resources, you know? Especially like a Thalnos or something. All right, so let's, yeah, let's bait them into a bigger board. Let's try to get by in the meantime. Does this always target enemies or not? Uh, yes, okay, so we can actually safely use this with Parrot as well if it makes sense, right? It doesn't have to be Blizzard in that case. I can go Overflow. Uh, I can even maybe get like Spill Damage on it too to make a bigger guy. But right now, my biggest hurdle is that like, I, you know, they're gonna have quest done ASAP and I still have not done any damage. I've not really developed a victory line. I'm still just keeping up with party replacement, you know? And as soon as they get Tamsin done, I, the potential damage output can be enormous, right? I have to be very careful. So let's try to sort that out. Yeah, I think this is good for now. Um, I'll just play an Ice Shard with it. Hopefully get maybe some face lockdown going on here. So the first time we've actually won a board. Oh, that's really good though now. No way to freeze face out. So they will be able to both finish quest here and actually deal nine damage to me this turn. Oh no, they can't hero power and Tamsin. Never mind. I guess they could still figure out a way to do that, but you know. Not quite yet. Oh, that's a good cheap way to finish quest. Okay. So Tamsin comes down. I can Blizzard the Tamsin. I could actually Arcane Overflow the Tamsin if I clear the other two minions first. Yeah, so I could ping Parrot, and that'll kill Tamsin. Assuming she's the only other minion left here. There's another minion. I might have to trade the 6-6 six, six in. Oh. Uh, okay. It's a lot of minions, so maybe the Blizzard line's better here. Maybe we just take Blizzard into... Uh, Blizzard, right? Try to start hitting face more. I mean, I still just like, don't think I'm gonna get there is the problem. Oh, another rush minion. As soon as I start playing shards, he keeps getting rush minions. It's so frustrating. Uh, I just have to hope there's not that many ways. Like, like this is nine, like I said, right? Like he can just hair and hit the six, six. Like me having big minions out is actually sort of a liability at this stage. Um, I need them to be able to survive, but this is a really strong deck once they get Tamsin done. I feel like before that, it's not that strong, but as soon as you get Tamsin, boy, you're cruising. Ugh, more life gain, too. It's just, I don't know how to win. I just don't have enough damage. I guess a Yogg could bail me out here somehow. Oh, that's strong, too. Yeah, there's no way I'm winning this. Zero chance. It's just the inevitability of the hero power is just, or the, the quest is just too much. Uh, okay, I guess wand actually is kind of cool. Um, I'd rather have wand than another blizzard, so let's just clear here and freeze face and hope for the best again. I, I still think we're screwed, but it'll be rush guy. Oh, not a rush guy. Cool. I can't win in fatigue. I can't find enough damage i could maybe get a grand finale board to hit phase um i can maybe try to out heal it but it's going to be almost impossible i have an endless army of dudes but they don't heal quite as much as he's going to put out for damage right he can do three per turn pretty easily or six really usually and more if i play big threats look at all this freaking life gain dude um and Darren's fun. This guy's fine. We definitely don't want to use Parrot yet because we want to use that for a big board clear. Duplicate on the Pandaren is actually pretty good, but will that be what gets hit, you know? Steward's actually really good, too. I think we still want to play this guy, though. Yeah, let's hold on the... Hold on the duplicate. You can hit a better target than that. Uh, okay, so maybe they run out of gas. Maybe I just like get three minions down every turn. Maybe I freeze phase. Like there's still ways to do this, right? Cause they are kind of getting low on resources. As long as they don't have a lot of card draw, we might be able to outpace this. Just playing big minions hurts me is the problem. And I like, of course, eventually need to play big minions. I need grand finale here. Oh, 
Okay, hold up. Uh, sudden wind condition. We'll just play it next turn, right? We got a hit here, right, to, uh... To soften that up. And, and set up to kill it. All right, so a lot of minions on board is good because that's life gain, and I played four elementals for the grand finale, so that's going to summon five eight eights. Oh, that's four damage face. Oh, my God, this is scary, guys. He can hit the 4-4 four, four here to deal another seven. <laughs> Sucks. Uh, but maybe next turn I'll be able to win. If not that, then I have to pair it on the finale again, which I guess won't actually be very good, but they can try. Okay, that's that's weak. All right. Uh, actually, do I want this hitting face? Probably so, right? I can leave up a 2-2. Actually, I can also rune dorm. I want. Do I want to play an ice shard so that the parrot is better next turn? <laughs> At this point, the parrot still casts one, but after I play this, the parrot will be on finale. Does that 2-2 on board make any difference for, like, spell damage applications? I'm going to have how many of these? I'm going to have five. That's 40 damage. He currently has 47, 52 health. So weirdly enough, this does not set up a lethal. I'm going to go ahead and do this just in case. I, I think I don't have to pair it next turn necessarily. Uh, Clone of Colds may be good to stall. I don't know. So I take three. Can he deal 17? It doesn't feel like it. Can he clear a board is another question, right? That's the problem number two. Okay, that's two to face. This is three. That's five. Oh, staff of scales. No. That's got to be game. I, I needed these to connect so much damage, and now they're not even going to. Not even close. Vampiric fangs, salt in the wound here. Jeez. This is a good cone of cold, thankfully, but I don't see how to win. Uh, Cause Parrot just doesn't play enough stuff now. You know? I mean, I'll play two elementals here, I guess. Uh... Oh, I should have played Geek Set. Oh, shoot. It doesn't matter. We can't actually win. There's no way. He's not out of gas enough. He has too many freaking uh, kobold librarians to keep redrawing. And it's not like fatigue helps me. I need his hand to actually deplete. Not because once he gets to fatigue, I start taking even more damage. So I played twos. This summons three eight eights. Um, I could maybe try to duplicate it as well so that I can like keep doing that. But, you know, I have to kind of have an elemental turn in between every time. So he can deal five here if he wants to freeze himself. Uh, oh, interesting. This order's different, but works, I guess. Go on face. Oh, that that just deals. Yeah, that's good too, I guess. Certainly doesn't hurt. So freeze, freeze. I guess I play the duplicate with the parrot. Actually, freezing face is probably better than freezing a minion here. Although I think both probably get me killed, don't they? Uh, five, seven. He'll have at least 10 damage next turn. Yeah, I guess we'll just pair it and duplicate and hope that he kills the parrot. It's like, and he can kill an 8-8 eight, eight is the other thing, right? Like, it may not even matter. Do I just play Scorpid Ping instead? I don't know. I think this gives me, like, some weird out, maybe. Just in case. It's not really terrible on anything, but I can't really, like, force the parrot. So maybe just see what happens. I mean, the 8-8s eight are useless, but kind of out of time is the other problem. So he has 7, 10 damage we know about, and I'm at 16. So he needs to find, um, like, 6 more damage, and he might be able to kill me. That's, you know, minion deaths and stuff aside, obviously. What draws do I have to put me in this game? Yogg, I guess, technically, but not really... I, don't, I mean, I guess a big Yogg can win, sure. 
Okay, more shards. That's what I need. More of these guys. Thank you. I think I had to leave that up, though, in Freeze's face, for the record. Like, it's just his face attacks deal too much if I don't, right? He gets another 3-3, three, three, and that's too scary. And he's playing these, like, in the wrong order. Oh, hello. I can clear here, and I think I kind of have to, right? Oh, I probably need to freeze face again. I love these resources, though. Oh, boy, this is a tough decision. I can't freeze face unless I use the Frost Bolt. That leaves six damage up. Oh, I have to freeze face because he can hit an 8-8 and kill me, so I have to. I don't have a choice. This has to This has to hit face. Otherwise, he just hits an 8-8 and I'm dead, right? That's that's too good, obviously. Um, All right, so how are we going to do this? We have to ping. We have to frost both face. Oh, that's the wrong order. It won't matter though, because there's spare mana anyway. So that's not relevant. The problem here is I can only play one shard, which means he can kill it. And I don't set up lethal. And I need the shard to freeze his face, or otherwise he's gonna have lethal. Shoot, I actually really needed... Uh, okay, he had a spell to kill it anyways. Or to freeze it, so... Same difference, I guess. Uh, I need to kill off my minions. Can I actually do that? Uh, Only sort of. Yeah, I'm just dead, though. I can't freeze face, so I'm dead, right? Yeah, it's just... It's just... Gonna be... I mean, I guess there's a chance that he doesn't see it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's been hitting minions pretty reliably, though, so I don't, I don't think that'll happen. Oh, it doesn't even matter. He just hits face. He doesn't even need to see it. He just has six. So that will definitely be seen. But he actually has um, uh, a lot more than... Oh, God! <laughs> he has a lot of damage. Yeah, shoot, man. I had to be able to freeze. So the frost bolt was the right call. It's just we didn't have the math to to protect this, particularly because he top decked the glacial shard. That was a cool game, actually. That was um, that was really fun. This deck was pretty sweet too. Yeah, actually, maybe leyline was a mistake. Yeah, that's a good thought. Like, I, maybe just a second shard would have been better. In, in fact, a second shard still wouldn't have been enough, as we saw, because he froze one and he could have just traded the other one. But but we could have tried to play around it. Yeah, actually. It probably would have been smarter to try to play around it, and then we wouldn't have to rely on that, right? That was still a really cool run, though. I was really happy with that. Am I DCing? What's going on? I don't know what's happening right now.